Hey guys, just want to do a quick review on this holster. Uh, this is for the Taurus G3C. Uh, this is a 9mm compact pistol. A great pistol, by the way, for conceal and carry. Uh, but yeah, this holster uh, is the second one that I bought for this uh, handgun. And uh, I have another one that I reviewed in a previous video, which is also a great holster, but I find that I'm using this one a little more often and uh, I'll go over a few reasons uh, why and a few of the features on this one. Uh, so they both have uh, the trigger guard here um, and uh, adjustable cants. So this uses just a basic uh, screwdriver so you can tighten and loosen that uh, and then swivel this depending on how you want to wear it. Um, this also is to tighten the pressure on uh, on the pistol so that it holds it a little tighter or a little looser. I found that right out the box it held really well. Um, it also has that little click so when you pull it out and put it in, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty loud click and that kind of lets you know that it's set in place. Um, this is made from a different material. So this is made from something called Kydex, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, as opposed to the other one I bought, which is, this one is polymer. Uh, this is just, it's a little more rigid, where this is a little smoother and softer. It's not like malleable or anything like that, but it, it just feels a little bit smoother. So I find that it's a bit more comfortable. Uh, also, this has a little more smoother edges as opposed to this one. Um, and then the bottom is kind of open on this one, uh, where here... It's closed. So number one, it just kind of smooths out a little better, which makes it more comfortable. Uh, it also protects from dust and debris. Uh, the other thing is this one runs flush up to the back of the gun, where this one here, this kind of rides up a little bit more, uh, a little taller uh, than the back, so it extends a little bit like that. Um, other, other than that, uh, they're both great, but I just find this one to be a, a little bit more comfortable. Uh, really tight pressure on here so it's not going anywhere. I'll show you what it looks like while I'm wearing it. So as you can see here it conceals really well. I'm wearing a, a regular size t-shirt you know it's not baggy or, or tight or anything like that and, and you can't see anything but uh, there it is. I wear it front right um, and that's uh, this is a right-handed uh, holster. Um, what I typically do with my belt is wherever my belt usually is, I'll just open it one notch and that seems to accommodate nicely for the size. Uh, again, it holds in really tight uh, as far as when you uh, pull it out, uh, put it back in, you got that click. Uh, there's no fear of it popping off when you pull it out. And uh, yeah, all in all, this is a great holster. I think you'd be, you'd be pleased with this. I bought it on Amazon. Uh, it was fairly inexpensive. I'll leave a link for it in the description. There's no need to pay these crazy prices that some of these holsters go for. Um, this one does a great job, um, and I think you'll be really pleased with it. Uh, if this video helped you out, guys, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel. I do uh, reviews on just random everyday products that I have that I that I really enjoy or ones that I really don't like uh, for whatever reason. And hopefully that'll help you out uh, in your shopping process. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.